good afternoon everyone so today i just wanted to meet all of you and discuss the uh, syllabus of a very important subject which is going to be game theory and strategic interactions game theory and strategic interactions this is course econ 013 and this is the course which will be for ba honors sem 5 students right okay now let's quickly look at the important books for this one better this is a very very difficult uh, course let me tell you right away very tricky course and therefore you need to put 100% of your effort from day one so the book that we will be using for this will be Osborne right and Watson J right and the following chapters are what would be done so unit one In unit one, we will be talking about complete information. Right. So in unit one, we will be talking about what refers to a Nash equilibrium. What is a simultaneous game, right? What is a dominant game? What is a mixed strategy game? And uh, are words, but alien words but it is going to be a very interesting course, huh? So just take an example. So there is something which is known as prisoner's dilemma, which is very, very common in uh, in this uh, course, huh? Achha, isme kya karte hai? Ki I give you an example where I tell you that there are two prisoners whom I have caught. They have committed a crime. In dono ne kuch to kiya hai, kuch chori ki hai, kuch kiya hai. And I put these prisoners in different rooms, in two separate rooms. And I tell them ki dekho, aap dusre ke against mujhe sat sach bata do. Dusre ke against aap proof de do. And I will leave you and I will leave you and I will put the other person in jail. I will put the other person in jail. Okay. And I do this thing with both of them. I do the same thing with both of them. Ki you tell me that you, know, you committed the crime with him. You become a gawa. Ban jau. You become, uh, you know, you go ahead and you uh, become a government uh, uh, agent kind of thing. You go ahead and you uh, tell against him and I will free you. Right. And I tell this to both these individuals. So what you will see is that both of them end up committing. And you will get proof against them. Right. So we will talk about such games. Then we will talk about a game that there are two friends. Right. And these two friends, they have been given a project. And they need to decide whether, uh, you know, when project kar rahe, so this each of them has to decide ki kya wo hard work kare. Should he be putting hard work? Ya dusre pe chhod de and let the other person do the hard work and just get good grades out of it. So what will happen in such games? Will they actually end up putting hard work or not? So this kind of games, we will be going ahead and looking at them. So it is going to be an interesting course. So the first unit is going to be about complete information. Complete information is when you, uh, you know, you make these games, but you throw out entire information. Dono players ko sara information hota hai. That is a complete information game. The second one that we are going to go ahead and we are going to uh, do is called an incomplete information. Right? Under incomplete information, what we do is, there is some kind of information which is missing. Just when I buy an insurance, the insurance company ko nahi pata ki mujhe kaun disease hai. I may hide it from the insurance company. Ya once I have purchased car insurance, insurance company does not know ki speed pe main car chalaungi. Right? I may just drive very rashly. 
सो देर आर केसेस वेन देर इज इनकम्प्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन ठीक है देर आर केसेज ऑफ मॉरल हेजार्ड ऑफ ए सिमेट्रिक इन्फॉर्मेशन तो ये वाला यूनिट वी विल बी गोइंग अहेड एंड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट एंड इन दिस आई विल बी डूइंग वॉटसन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड हियर इन यूनिट वन आई विल बी गोइंग अहेड एंड आई सॉरी ऑसबोर्न चैप्टर टू राइट एंड वॉटसन चैप्टर फोर एंड इलेवन ठीक है दिस इज योर इनकम्प्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन माई बैंड दिस इज यूनिट नंबर फोर बेटा यूनिट नंबर फोर अच्छा नाउ लेट इज गो हेड एंड टॉक अबाउट यूनिट इन बिटवीन सो यूनिट टू is also complete information but it is actually sequential in theek hai isme aayega osborn chapter number 5 so unit 2 is complete information sequential game to so, sequential game kya hota hai sequential games are games in which first one player will show their strategy and then the second player will show their strategy so for example ab kya ho raha hai na ki jaise isme maine aapko bola that these two individuals have to decide on their own whether they will be put in hard work or not but ek sath decide karke batana hai simultaneously they will decide theek hai isme it's not like this sequential as the word suggest so one of your friend first shows his effort ki kya usne effort dala ya nahi dala and after looking at that person then you decide whether you want to put in hard work or not so you decide whether you want to put hard work or not after you have already seen the first player so this is a sequential game sequential games mein one of the player will move first and then the second player will move so it will happen in a sequence decision making will be in a sequence then unit 3 this is going to be industrial organization right this is going to be osborn chapter number 3 and osborn chapter number 6 beta one thing that happened with this year's students is that usually game theory ka thoda sa aspect it used to be in semester 4 microeconomics right we would teach game theory and we would teach kurnow bertrand stackelberg models uh, to students in fourth semester itself right but now since we have not done that in the fourth semester so we need to and uh, you know we have this as a separate subject so we need to go ahead and we need to do this separately hai na so in the unit number 3 as the word suggest this is industrial organization so we will be going ahead and we will be talking about kurnow model bertrand model stackelberg model right and we will also be talking some parts about auction theory hai na so we will be talking about what is first price sealed bid auction iske bare mein bhi baat karenge so it is going to be a very interesting part okay and then we have unit 5 and this will be about communicating information right and this in this you will have watson chapter 28 and 29 in this we will be talking about job market reputation we will be talking about signaling so just take an example just say for example i tell you ki uh, there are two people ना दोनों लैपटॉप के आगे बैठे हुए हैं एंड हाउ डू आई नो दैट हु इज परफॉर्मिंग वर्क हु इज डूइंग वर्क एंड हु इज जस्ट डूइंग गूगल द इंटायर डे राइट सो दिस इज वेयर आई मे वॉन्ट टू यूज सम काइंड ऑफ सिग्नलिंग टेक्निक राइट और लेट से दैट देर आर टू पीपल हु कम फॉर अ जॉब How would I determine कि कौन ज्यादा हार्ड वर्किंग होगा कौन ज्यादा एफिशियंट होगा देर इज नो वे 
But one way in which I can use the signal is through the level of their education. I may assume that one who is more educated, who has more degrees, might, because he has spent so much effort in getting education, might be more hardworking than a person who is less educated. So education can be used as a signal to understand how to go ahead and determine the efficiency of the labor. So basically the fifth unit is going to be about communicating information in which we will go ahead and we will try to understand which worker is, uh, you know, how to use job market market signaling. Clear? Now in this case, beta again, the... Uh, you know, the paper is going to have all these three things. So, sabse pehla, the important fact is that all units have equal weightage. Yeah. Then your internal assessment is going to be for 30 marks. Continuous assessment is going to be for 40 marks. Right? And when we talk about continuous assessment, it is going to be on the similar lines only. Just may you will have attendance, you will have quizzes, you will have assignments, class test, or any other mode. And internal assessment may six marks will be for attendance and 24 marks will be for any of the assignment or class test. Yeah, 12 for assignment and 12 for class test. That way it will be divided. So this is 70 marks. They haven't given the marks for the final exam, but I am assuming that the final exam will be for 90 marks and uh, total this will come out to be 160 marks. But the, uh, the notice does not talk about final exam. I don't know why they skipped that part, but this is how it should be. And, um, you know, this subject will require maximum of your effort from my own experience, let me tell you. When we were in college, uh, this was an optional subject. So we used to have a three-year course structure. And this is nothing to scare you. Huh? Just telling you. So we had a three-year course structure. And this was a subject in fifth sem. But students used to have a choice that either you can choose MFM or you can go ahead and you can choose game theory. And Somehow I wanted to go at Delhi School of Economics. So I wanted to do a difficult subject. So I chose game theory. And there were very less students who chose game theory. And out of the students who chose game theory, a lot of them did not pass the exam. And because this was a three-year course. So after our sixth sem ended, these students, they had to take a year gap to reappear for this game theory exam. Imagine. So I don't want any of you to take that risk. This is a very difficult subject and we want to make sure that we start from the very beginning and we do this subject thoroughly. Right. So we need to start focusing on game theory from day one. Clear? The other two subjects that you have, that is uh, development economics, economic group, they are easier. They are theoretical subjects. You can do them on your own also. But game theory is once you can do game theory also on your own. It's I'm not uh, saying anything like that. But just that it requires a lot of your hard work from day one. So I hope that you will go ahead and you will put in that hard work. Right? Okay, beta. Thank you.